Fire has many parts and colors, and we all know that fire is hot. But have you ever wondered which part of the flame is the hottest? Many people believe that fire has one temperature throughout the whole fire, but this is actually not true. Let's talk about refraction. Refraction is when light does not reflect or bounce off, but it passes through a new medium at a different angle. A real-world example is a mirage, like in the desert. But you might ask, how can heat affect light? When the ground gets hot, it heats up the air above it. When light enters a new medium, it bends a certain direction. You might ask why when you look at your friends, they all look orange. Now the reason of this is because orange light comes out of the fire, reflects off everything, and then goes to your eye. This gives the appearance of orangeness. The color of an object affects how hot it can be. Have you ever noticed that in a black car, it is really hot compared to a white car? This does not include AC. That is because light energy can turn into heat energy when it's absorbed. White reflects all light, so it is the coolest of the colors. But black, on the other hand, absorbs all light, and this is why black is the hottest. If we use the equation E equals HF, we can find the energy of every color. E represents the energy of a photon. H is Planck's constant, and F represents frequency. Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule time seconds. Now, how do we solve this? All we need is the frequency of a color we want to find the energy for. Frequency dictates the color of the light and is the rate at which something occurs. Don't confuse frequency with period. Period is the time that passes before repeating an action. Let's say we want to find the energy for violet. Violet's frequency is 7.5 times 10 to the 14th power. We plug that into the equation, multiply it by Planck's constant, and voila, we have the energy for violet, which is 5 times 10 to the negative 19th power. Now remember, this is the energy for one photon of violet light not the whole thing. Now let's do this for orange, blue, and yellow. Orange's energy would be at 3.313 times 10 to the negative 20th power. Yellow's would be at 3.42 times 10 to the negative 19th power. And blue's would be 4.41 times 10 to the negative 21st power. As you can see, blue has a higher energy than yellow and orange. We are only using visible light. This is all your colors of the rainbow, from red to violet, all on the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is your special waves like radio, light, gamma, and more. Radio having the longest wavelength, and gamma having the shortest. Wavelength is the difference between the crests of the wave. We now know blue is the hottest part of the flame because it has the most energy. But why? What makes this part blue and the other part orange? Well, if you look at a flame closely, at the base of the flame is where all the blue is, and nowhere else. This is because most of the oxygen goes to the base, and the oxygen is the fuel for the flame. Now we know that the hottest part of the fire is the base, where it is blue. The takeaways from this video are that the color blue has a higher frequency and more energy than orange and yellow. How you can find the energy of a single proton is by using the equation E equals HF. Finally, the reason that the blue part of the fire has more energy than the rest of the fire is because it receives the most oxygen, so it's the hottest. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new, just like I did. Bye.